Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about Jason Garrett's hit and miss percentages in the draft. This is serious. Cab mode time, baby. Let's get that lint out of here. All right, so basically what this video is going to break down is uh, Jason Garrett's draft from 2011 until the present. You know, how are we doing as far as hitting on a pick and missing on a pick? All right, so I'm going to break it down and uh, talk about it in detail here. Uh, each round and give you the percentages what we're missing and hitting on for first round picks second round picks and um, also giving you the hit miss percentage for the whole draft class as far as 2011 12 13 14 and, and so on so uh, take a look at this the bad boy down so I have the years here on the left from 2011 all the way through you know 2017 last season so 2011 if you look across here here are the draft picks and then de depending on the hit and miss, the overall percentage of hit and miss here listed on the right. Now, I also have it broken down per round. So let's say, example, first round, hit and miss percentage, 60%, 60% second round, third round, we're pretty good in the third round, 83%. Um, fourth round, flip a coin, right? We're doing about 50% in the fifth, I mean in the fourth round. Fifth round? No good. We're, we're completely busting in the fifth round. So you can see why they're trading out those picks. Uh, we don't hit on any of them. Sixth round, not too bad. 67 percentile. Round seven, you're, not, you're, you're really not getting any, any anybody out of that. Okay. So let's just talk about this real quick. All right. <clears throat> 2011, Tyron Smith, definite hit. You know, Bruce Carter and DeMarco Murray have them as semi-hits because... They did contribute, you know, rotational guys, and they did play. Arkin Thomas didn't get make the team. Dwayne Harris, you know, return game. These guys didn't make it. So overall, 50%. 2012, Mo Claiborne, he was a miss. He was a bust. He did give us some playing time, but overall, he just gets a bust, uh, a miss on me for this one. Tyrone Crawford, he's a hit. He got a second contract. Uh, he's heavy in rotation. Um, I'm trying to be as objective as possible. You know, I'm, I'm not the biggest Tyrone Crawford fan. Uh, you know, anybody that's been following me on the blog or on the YouTube knows that I'm not his biggest fan. But it, it he is what he is. You know, he's for the Cowboys. He's been a a run stuffing kind of guy. We'll get some sacks here and there. Rotational Cowboys did give him a second contract, so you know they got some value out of him. Uh, Kyle Wilbur, same kind of deal. Uh, got a second contract, special teamer guy, depth guy, Matt Johnson, hamstring guy, never, never saw the field. Danny Cole had the broken foot, never came back, nothing there. James Hanna, you know, got the second contract, been pretty good in the, the run game. Kellen Masur didn't make it, 43%. Frederick, complete hit. Gavin Escobar, second round bust. That was a big miss. T. Will got the second contract, so and rotational guy, so he was a hit for the Cowboys. J.J. Wilcox, kind of a semi hit. Um, you know, gave us some death. Special team kind of play. B.W. Randall, Devontae Holloman had the neck. Uh, he, he looked like he was having a promising career. Um, such a shame that he didn't make it, man. I, he he did pretty good. So. 43 percentile now the asterisk here for 2014 this is when uh will mcclay basically took over the reins of creating the board and taking over and bringing everybody together to uh <clears throat> you know button up the Cowboys draft all right zach martin was a hit demarcus lawrence he was a hit uh anthony hitchens i have him as a hit street was Nothing didn't do anything there. Uh, seventh round, however, didn't do good. So, in McClay's first year, 38 percentile, kind of a drop off there. But we had a lot of picks in the seventh that kind of affected that that number. 2015, uh, Byron Jones semi hit, bordering on bust. But you know he he is giving the Cowboys some value with play time snaps. He doesn't miss games. So I give him a semi hit. Randy Gregory a bust. Chaz Green a bust. Damian Wilson depth. Ryan Russell didn't make it. 
the Zacha Gibson Swain. Have him as a semi hit. He's giving us uh, depth at tight end, uh, run support, and he, he can catch the ball too. But again, 38 percentile. 2016. This is this uh, has a lot of potential still. Ezekiel Elliott kn- knocked it out of the park big time. He's a hit. Jalen Smith semi hit. Uh, Malik Collins semi hit. I got to got to see more from these two guys. Malik Collins had a pretty good rookie year. They asked him to do some different things last season, so you know we'll see. Uh, Charles Tapper complete bust. He's the, he's got the quick burst first step. That's it. Doesn't do anything but be injured. Uh, Dak Prescott, he's a hit. Uh, but this this year three is a is a big season for him. He's got we gotta see what he's gonna be. All right, uh, Brown Anthony Brown, good rookie season. Kevon Frazier, I just did a video on him. You know how guy how I feel about this guy. Darius would let him go. Rico Gathers, I have him in the orange as a to be determined kind of guy. So 2016, 67 percent hit miss value. That's pretty good, right? 2017. Uh, I have most of this class as a to be determined because we only got one year of them. So we got to, you know, I got to see another year to, to get a better grasp of it. But I do like what I see in Taco. I, he's finished strong. Cheeto, once he got past the hamstring and the injury bug, he looked really good. I like him. Jordan Lewis as well. Solid guy. These guys tackle. Cheeto, peanut, you know, he's another peanut Tillman kind of guy. Always looking for the strip. Brian Switzer finished strong. He got over his injury bug and, you know, figuring out a couple things. So I, I like that there. X Woods, I think, has good potential in the slot. Provides depth at safety as well. And he'll be in the mix for safety. Marquez White to be determined. Ivy and Carroll didn't make it. Noah Brown, I like him. So we'll see. You know, we'll see, we'll see what happens here. All right. But one thing that kind of stands out here when you look at this the Cowboys do pretty good in the first three rounds, 60, 16, 83 percent. Fourth round and, and, and onward is kind of when, kind of when the wheels kind of fall off. And you can see here, if you just step back and look, you see a lot of red on this side of the screen because you know you're just you're getting people out of the top 100 picks, and you're just rolling the dice. You know, hopefully, you're hoping that the scouting can uh, can find some gems. And that's what it is, man. But the fifth round, we're terrible there. Um, and so you can understand why the Cowboys trade out those picks. You know, I don't know if the, if there's some kind of, uh, you know, superstition here where they're just they just trade it out, but they're not hitting any, on any fifth round picks. Okay. All right, guys. So that's the hit and miss percentages on under Jason Garrett. Um, I think our recent draft classes look are looking a lot better. I think Will McClay is getting. Uh, a better grasp of what the coaches and the organization are looking for. Um, you know, those first two years, 2014 and 2015, the percentiles were not quite up to snuff, um, but it looks like we're improving there as well. So the uh, stock is going up for Will McClay and uh, quality players that are getting on the team. Now it's just, it's up to the coaches to, you know, get everything together and propel us to at least the NFC Championship game and the Super Bowl. All right. But that's all I have right now, guys. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think about the hit and miss percentages under Jason Garrett and uh, Will McClay when he took over in 2014, the draft board until now? Let me know what you guys think about that. How do you feel about us going into the draft? And as usual, guys, continue to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you for the next video. Thanks, guys.